Okay, as you know, we have an option in C SQL Server to populate data into a temp table, use that data in the temp table for a purpose, and then <coughs> either drop the temp table or uh, cease to use it. For instance, a hash table we would drop, and then a variable table we would just cease to use. I apologize, I'm kind of coughing here and there, so I'm going to try to uh, pause for a second and cough into a towel, that way it doesn't sound so bad. <laughs> Um, well, one of the things we can also do in some uses for a temp table is to use a common table expression instead. So currently in one of the tables here I have uh, sales data and it's ordered by two columns very simply, a salesperson and then just individual sales that they've made that are a certain amount. So for instance, the first couple of columns you see Jack has made some sales, one for a hundred, another for a hundred and then another for 250. <coughs> and if we wanted to aggregate these data, we could populate these data into a temp table and uh, populate, I mean, the select query that would aggregate all these data. Uh, for instance, let's suppose we wanted to aggregate the individual salesperson, uh, the total amount of all their sales, uh, the total count of all their sales, and then the amount of money they made per sale. Um, which you can see right here is this query, this basic select statement, and we have all that populated. Well, we could build a temp table. We could build a temp table with salesperson, uh, total sales amount, total sales, and amount per sale, like what we do down here with a variable table. We could build a table, insert the data into it, and then select out of it and then we could start putting our where clause for instance where it's in the top 20 percent or <coughs> sorry <coughs> where it fits a certain criteria like let's say we wanted to select the top 25 percent of the total sales amount or maybe the top 50 percent uh, we could do that but without going through this long complicated process here in this example we could just do a variable table and so, um, I'm sorry, not a variable table, a uh, common table expression. As you can see, our common table expression will accomplish the exact same phenomena. Then, we could actually do our query right here. We could do the top, um, uh, let's say, 25, let's do top 20% of um, total sales amount. We're ordering it by that. And then there you go. And actually, I we would want a uh, salesperson too. And you can see that we could easily perform that query on the common table expression. And we could, we could again do the same thing here with this variable table. But the key is here is this variable table has a lot more code to it, whereas the common table expression, it's, it's all combined <coughs> in, the same, in the same block of code. Now, a common table expression cannot do everything that a temp table can do. As a case in point, there are numerous uses for temp tables, but I'll give you an example. One of my favorite uses of a temp table is I populate a hash temp table, which is a hash symbol, hash symbol, um, with the results of dbcc check db and then I perform a query and I check if there are zero consistency errors zero errors if there are no errors then it backs up the database if there are errors that it finds it does not back up the database well <coughs> the hash table is very useful for the if statement it's very useful. A common table expression wouldn't be able to do, accomplish that. And there's nothing wrong with a common table expression because, again, it can do aggregates very well. It can perform some functions. It's very good also for removing duplicates. Um, but it, it's not going to be something that you are going to want to try to replace your queries that you're going to need an index on a temp table. You don't want to do all of your queries using it. But it is another tool in your toolbox. That way you can minimize um, using temporary tables. Keep in mind too as well, there's a lot of discussion in the SQL Server community about whether you want to use a hash table or a variable table. And one of the things that I'll say about a hash table or a variable table is that, well it depends, are you dealing with a large data set in which you're going to need indexes, are you dealing with a small data set. And so, as you can see, a common table expression may not be the best tool to have if you have a huge amount of data. 
but it is an alternative for small data sets, for aggregated data sets, for removing duplicates. It can come in handy and like a temp table, you can select out values. Once you've declared with your common table expression, which by the way, the syntax is just uh, starting with a semicolon with whatever the name of your table is as open parentheses, in parentheses, between the parentheses you have your query, as you can see right here. And then of course you can select what you need out of that table. And you'll notice I'm selecting from this table that's been established. Um, but as you can see, it's just an alternative for some data sets that you might think or might want to immediately run to a temp table you can do with a common table expression.